So Hypixel Skyblock had a update the other day, the Mining V3 update, which released the Glassite Mines, adding a whole new plethora of things to go through and look into. This video isn't specifically looking into the whole update. There are loads of update videos and stuff like that out there. I'm sure you guys have seen that yourselves. If you want me to do a deep dive on the update, let me know down below. But this video, we are going through and upgrading our armor. So as I said, a bunch of gems were added during this update. And if you aren't aware, gems basically can be applied to armor and some weapon or tool slots to add an effect on said item, giving you extra, for example, strength, for example, farming fortune, for example, mining fortune, mining speed, so on and so forth, even all the way down to health. Each gem zone is unique and adds its own thing. And today we are focusing on Peridot. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. Before we fully get into this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really is appreciated. Thank you so much for the love and support recently, guys. And let's just kind of get into it. So this is currently my farming armor right now. And as I said, with the update, you've got a few things. But as you can see, you now have slots of which you can add gemstones to the armor, which is pretty sick. Even being able to add it to rancher boots, which is amazing. I'm glad that they added that, which is pretty cool. Now, you can't add it to things like pets, which I kind of guess is fair. I don't really feel like we need to add it to pets as well. What we've got it on right now is good enough. But as I said earlier, we're looking into getting the Peridot gems. Searching gems in NEU will bring up every single gem type. So you can just go through and check which ones they have. Or you can just check my pixel wiki and see what they do. Peridot giving you farming fortune. We're today going to go and get one flawless gemstone for each armor set. And then uh, we're going to basically see the farming fortune before and after. So right now, just doing a quick test on my farming fortune. It's 1,320, as you can see on the right of the screen over here. So this is my farming fortune as of right now with no gemstones on the armor. I'm going to go through, get the gemstones, and we're basically going to see where we are with it. Now, the plan is just to get one gemstone each per armor slot, and then we can sort of see how many that gives us, and we can then just double what it's given us to see where we will be with two of them i'm only going to go for flawless right now because getting the perfect ones is going to take quite a bit of time but just for you guys to sort of see the process and see how it works i'm going to show you guys how to do that if you want to watch me grind this iron man profile live then you can always come over to my twitch or tiktok streams links will be in the description below let's get into the grind of this so obviously you've got to get into the glassite mines and you do that by speaking to this guy here he is located really close to the king, sort of hanging over this edge. And uh, he will then ask you to get the secret railroad pass, which you get in the third page of the forge items area. And for that, you need some Corleonite and you need to get a flawless ruby crystal as well as two refined mithril. Once you get that once, by the way, that is completely done forever. You do not need to get that again. You can just visit this area as many times as you want. After obtaining the key and getting through to the area, I knew I wanted the paradise ore and I knew I needed to go grind them and find this good enough place for them to do it. Ended up finding this kind of little cave here, ended up grinding it and just grinding as much as possible. At the moment, in terms of armor and tools and things like that, I have Devon armor with three out of four of them having perfect pristine that is the only thing they have using my epic scather and also grinding with the gemstone gauntlet which i call the thanos mitten which has a bunch of things two perfect gemstones one which is jade one which is topaz the rest of them being flawless and then all of the pristine you've got a pristine five books fortune four books on there compact x it's got the works on there so it's pretty good and it's done me really well and after two to maybe three, three and a half hours of grinding Paradise Ore, we ended up getting enough for the four flawless gemstones that we needed. And here we are. We are back with our four flawless Peridot gemstones. And we're going to add this to our four armor pieces here. First of all, seeing how much it costs, then seeing how much it goes up. So just a quick recap, 1,320 was what this was at. So I guess let's just check and see. We're doing it live, by the way. We're doing it live. Let's go through. I also ended up getting a pigeon for the area just because the Abaphone contact thing did not work there. So just bear that in mind when you go. I had to re-get my pigeon. Okay. Oh, I might not have the, uh, the gemstones for this. I need another 85. Oh, God. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I may or may not have forgot that you obviously need to 
have some stuff to apply the gemstones. It's been a minute, okay? Leave me alone. Anyway, let me go for the boots up. Apply. Very nice. Leggings. Apply. Very nice. Chest plate. Apply. Very nice. Helmet. Apply. Very nice. Cool. So each one has a flawless gemstone on, which apparently gives it six farming fortune. I don't know how much a perfect one will give, but up to 12 just from the flawless so possibly you know maybe up to 20 maybe it goes to 10 for perfect i don't know correct me in the comments down below okay so we're back with the armor on and it's glitching out my mossy uh set i guess because the color's constantly changing because i've got the, the that is sorry about that oh my god it's going crazy anyway so from 1320 we've gone up to 1343 we've gone up 23 each one's give us six, apart from this one here, which is give us five. I'm sorry it's glitching out right now. I do not know what's happening. So essentially with that, we've gone up 23 farming fortune just from the gemstones alone. Now I know that you can have them on the melon dices as well. I'm not too sure about any other tools. Yes, you can have them on every single tool set. So we've got a lot of these to grind and uh, I genuinely cannot wait. But that's going to be quite a big grind for us, especially in terms of mining, pushing forward and things like that. Getting as much farming fortune is going to be as helpful as possible. And I guarantee that all of the Jacob's contests are probably going to go up in general because so many more people are going to be getting in and it's going to push the threshold up if that's how it works so yeah we are now owners of some of the new gemstones as i said each and every gemstone has its own ability and will be definitely very good in its own unique ways and armor sets and things like that as someone who typically farms a lot in this game especially for this iron man account that peridot stuff is very very nice and yummy let me know what you guys are grinding for and what you're pushing towards yourselves right now and hopefully i get to see you guys soon take these guys have a great rest of your day stay safe i'll see you soon if you haven't checked out any other of my videos check out these ones here